Hi everybody. My name is Bill. And I'm with Lisa, and welcome to today's tech news. After the acquisition of JClarity by Microsoft to optimize Java workloads on Azure last year today, Microsoft announced that they have completed the porting of OpenJDK for Windows 10 ARM-based devices. This extended integration of Java to the Microsoft Cloud Azure seems great for the Java developer working on Azure Stack. That's right. It seems Microsoft uses a lot of Java on their own development as well. For example, sites like LinkedIn, Yammer, and even Minecraft. How does this collaboration benefit the Java developers and its community, exactly? We have a live team coverage. Pam seems to have the opportunity to get an interview with their chief program manager of Java Engineering Group at Microsoft. Let's go to Pam to see what she got so far. Pam. Hi, I'm Pam. Joining me is the chief program manager, Microsoft Java Engineering Group, Bruno Borges. And it's good to have you with us. We want to know why this collaboration is special on ARM64 for Microsoft and the Java community. It's great to be here. And thank you, Pam, for inviting me. ARM64 is a popular CPU architecture now used for mobile devices because it has a greater energy efficiency, which means it is ideal for battery-powered devices. It can significantly reduce data center costs. Windows is the operating system of choice for many workloads and user preferences, so the Java Engineering Group uses this ported version to support this class of users. Sounds great with the ARM64 processor. How about for the Java developers? Any benefits of the collaboration of Red Hat, OpenJDK to the Java developers? Java developers can start developing Java on Windows 10, ARM64 compatible laptops, like the Surface Pro X with the core Java extensions on the recently announced Visual Studio Code for Windows ARM64 along with traditional tools like Apache Maven, Breda, and others. You can check out the Versus Code for Java May update. For now, you can try out the port with an early access binary housed in the project's GitHub site. It's very insightful. Thank you for coming. We appreciated it, and now let's get back to Bill in the studio. Bill. This is great. Thank you, Pam, for getting us the interview. I'm sure this is great news for Java developers who like to develop in Java on Windows 10 ARM64 laptops. And that's all from us here at Tech News for now. Thank you for watching the Uniting Digital Tech News. We hope you enjoyed it and have a good day. Please remember to subscribe and support us. At Uniting Digital, we offer a platform for digital talents to share their expertise by becoming a contributor. We also offer digital transformation consulting services in digital strategy, technology roadmap, implementation plan, and orchestrating transformation.